Today we're going to be opening the painting center. I love to paint, but we need to know how to set up our space and take care of materials before we start. Step one is to gather supplies. The first supply I'm going to get is my mess mat. You can put your paper on top of it while you paint and make sure the color of your mess mat matches the color of your class. The next item I'm gonna get is my apron. They're hanging here on these hooks and all you have to do is place your head through the hole. While you're here, also grab your painting paper. You're only allowed two papers per class, but please just get one at a time. And the last materials you will need is a water bowl. You do not need to fill it up all the way. And I like to put a yellow sponge on the other side of this bowl. And a couple of paint brushes. I like to grab one small and one big one. Now that I have all my materials, it's time to get started. I drew on my paper with pencil first to make it easier to paint. I have my paints right next to me. I will share with my whole table. I have my paint brushes, water, a sponge, and a paper towel just in case. Before you start painting, don't forget to roll up your sleeves. We don't wanna get paint on your clothing. The paints we're using today are called tempera cakes. They need to be wet to work. When they are dry, they do not work. So take your wet paintbrush and wiggle it on top of the color that you want to use. You may have to put more water on your paintbrush to make the color even brighter. When I paint carefully, I take my time. This painting took me about half an hour. So I had to speed up my video so you could see me working on it. Please take your time when using your paint. It's a lot like coloring. I just do one color at a time, making sure my paintbrush is wet, getting more paint when I need it, keeping my paintbrush clean by putting it in the water and wiping it on the sponge. We will talk more about cleaning our paintbrushes and keeping our paints clean next class. Step one to cleaning up should be making sure that your artwork is safe. Take your painting and your messy mat and place them together on the drying rack. After you know your painting is safely on the drying rack, continue to clean up the rest of the items on your table. Dump out the water in your water bowl. Return the sponge to the container. You may need to rinse the dirty water out of your water bowl and place it in the drying rack. And don't forget to take really good care of the hairs on your paintbrush. Gently rub the hairs upward under running water to make sure all the paint is out. Then return them facing upward with the hair sticking up to the bin. If your table is messy or wet, grab a rag and wipe the table so that it's nice and clean for the next class. Only after all the cleaning is done should you hang up your apron and put it away. We have to learn a lot of new routines to use painting, but it is so worth it because it is so much fun.